So we haven't covered the Fanny's Fanny case in um a minute. A little, a little minute. I think you did something on Snapper Red TV the last time that was done on Fanny's case. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to catch in and see where we are. What well, what well, you brought this to my attention. Let's see where we are and let's follow up and see what's going on to this day. What's going on to this day? So it says um Fanny Willis sent some kind of message to Trump, a surprising message. What kind of Trump you gonna send to him? That man already like, look here. I already got cut half. I got hey, I ain't gotta pay all this money. I only gotta pay half of it. I ain't studying nothing. You talking about over on this case no more, man. I don't go. understand why he don't sell some more of his shoes. I mean, that's it and look, then look, some. Look, look. That's now, it and then now some. that Trump only owe 175 million, he could go ahead and say he could sell 175 million worth of shoes and get that little difference. I bet you he ain't yes. gonna have, I bet you he ain't gonna have to pay even that 175 million. I hope not. I don't feel like my reputation needs to be reclaimed. Let's say it for the record. I'm not embarrassed by anything I've done. Um, you know, I guess my greatest crime is I had a relationship with a man. All while that was going on, we were. Um, you're, Let's carry on, carry on. Did my sister say it was because she had a relationship with a man? This, let's just hear what she finished the sentence here writing responsive briefs we were still doing the case in the way that it needed to be done um i don't feel like we've been slowed down at all um i do think that there are efforts to slow down this train but the train is coming the train is coming uh fulton county georgia da fonnie willis says she's not embarrassed by her near dq disqualification in her first public comments after the nathan wade scandal and the hearings and now has a new warning for donald trump our next guest initiated the effort to remove Willis from the Georgia election interference case against Trump and his co-defendants, one of whom she represents. And Ashley Merchant joins us from her office down in Georgia right now. Ashley, good morning. Keep pause, though. I mean, that's good morning. Arrogance at its finest. Yeah, to yeah me. top level arrogance. Arrogance at its finest. She said that. So that lets only you know crime she committed was dating a man. I mean, that lets you know about her character. She's a that means I mean, she, that tells me oh, she's she has prideful, no egotistical, and narciss- narcissistic. Yeah. She has no you problem know. stabbing you in the back and nothing <laughs> twice about what? it. What? That's the persona that I I get. I don't care about breaking nobody's home life or any of that. Even if he and the wife were having problems before, I don't know. But they were something was going on if they were going through a divorce or whatever the case may be but oh she has no no remiss no remorse no regrets you know it is what it is and she said we back on it because that train is coming so and even though he's not even qualified you can talk about the fact that he was was wasn't even qualified for the job position that was one of the main major key components of this case is that he was not even qualified he had counterparts other colleagues who were more qualified to do the job that he was doing and who were getting paid less that's a problem. That's a problem. I mean, yeah, I mean. But that's, that's why that's I said if she got fired, I would just still truly be surprised. Why is it taking so long to remove her? If they are going, if she's proceeding on with the case, then they're not going to cut her. They the, cut they cut old Nathan Wade off there, but they apparently they're not going to do anything with her. They're going to let her keep running it. And then her agenda. So that tells me that whatever her main agenda was for trying to go after Trump, she's still on path of that. And I believe that that agenda was to get her a seat into the White House. Um, and so she's like, shoot, I'm still going forward. We well, let's see what Ashley has to say. I am. But she truly needs to be uh, reprimanded severely for that. How are you? I'm doing OK. You know, uh, she was defiant. Uh, the train is coming and she's not embarrassed at all. Mm-hmm. What do you make of that? Uh, that was a little surprising. I think I would be embarrassed if I had an affair with a married man and it was on national TV. But, you know, hey, that's okay. Um, I mean, I understand the train is coming. We're ready. We will be ready whenever the case goes to trial. Um, hopeful that it doesn't interfere with everything else that's going on in the world. But we're ready when, when the case comes forward. All right. She says that she's got prosecutors, essentially, who are still working on the case. Uh, but but it just hangs in the balance because we don't know where it's going to go. Can you bring us up to up to speed on where we are in this case? Because last we heard uh, Judge McAfee, the guy who said, OK, it's either Wade or Willis. One of you has got to leave. Uh, it, it sounds like he's weighing a bunch of different stuff. You want this to go to an appeals court to say, hey, she's got to get off the case, right? Right, right. And that's where we are, really, Steve. The, you know, the. Judge McAfee said, well, there's a lot here, but I'm not going to find that she's DQ'd. So the case is now going to go up to the Court of Appeals. The Court of Appeals can decide. They can either send it back 
and say, you know what, you are disqualified, you need a new prosecutor, they can send it back and say, Judge McAfee, you actually made some errors. We think the actual, um, in, in, you know, improprieties here is enough and tell him to go ahead and fix it. Or they could say, we're not going to dec decide this and then it's going to go up to the Supreme Court. So, you know, it's not. So it's still left on the table. So I thought that it was pretty much that she was like, OK, well, I'm clear. I can keep running on with this case. But apparently they're like, no, because there's still some decisions have to be made. Right. This court. I may need to close out this stupid case and move on. But nope, that's they, my that yeah. is my opinion. It's climbing up the ladder. That's what's going on. It's not going to be decided quickly. It's going to take at least a couple months for this to work its way through the system to determine okay. whether or not she actually is disqualified. Mm. Okay, so does this happen before the election? I don't see any way that this could happen before the election. I mean, wow. the appellate process takes about six months right. once it's initiated, and we're not even there yet. We're still early on in the stages, so I don't see how it could happen that quickly. Plus, you know, Ms. Willis has, has charged this case extremely overbroad, and so no trial is going to happen and be resolved before the election. So what they're looking at is actually having someone running for office, right. running for the office of president, being on trial. That's unheard of. Right. Ashley, right now it looks like the only, the, the case uh, of, of the four cases uh, facing Donald Trump right now, it looks like the strongest case to happen before the election actually has a, uh, a court appearance today. Donald Trump's going to be in a uh, courtroom here in Manhattan, lower Manhattan, later today uh, as they try to figure out exactly what the schedule will be for this, the hush money uh, uh, Stormy Daniels case. Oh, please. I know you've. I know it's Please. hard to keep track of all the different It is so much going on at one time. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, and even that is, even this case and that case are still such a distraction in, uh, uh, amongst being getting ready. Oh, let me finish. Amongst coming up to the presidency and coming up to the term, it's too much. That's why the only thing I'm not liking about this um, this run and this, you know, first of all, you got you got. Joe Biden and his crookedness, and then you got all this stuff that's around Trump. It's just not nothing about this presidential election term is clean. It's just like you know. Although I know I'm, I know I know we want Trump. I just why are there so many nuggets in the way? It's like so many chicken nuggets, like pieces of garbage, just in the way and before he this presidency. Is so strong. I mean, I just had to say that because, and I, you know, when I look at him, it's like look at all the things that he's been through and how fortified he still stands. It's like all the weights they continue to want to try to drop on him. Yeah. But God is covering him because your average prob your average man, you know, going through this would have just probably kirked out because this is just like so, so tough. And I'm not saying um, this, a man couldn't handle this outside of Trump. Any other man probably could. But I'm just saying having the strength that he has every 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 person man or woman may not be built like this so i felt like he was built for what what he's going through right now but he I'm, has I'm talking about how much how much it's just so much garbage in a way up to the to the election well I'm, but i'm just saying even regarding him all these trials all these things that just keep you know one thing after the next one thing after the next it's like ridiculous yeah i know i'm just saying yeah because it's just like i wish things were so much would be cleaner up to getting up to the election term it's just it's this thing keep popping up and it's going and there's so many things going on that it's just making a distraction it's so much distraction but people have their eye on the prize and that is to vote for him this this time they are not going to allow all of the foolery to continue because people are seeing right right through it and did you see the thing with um run um the kennedy uh one what's the name ron kennedy what's the name DeSantis? No, Kennedy. The the guy is the Kennedy bro. Mm -hmm. Kennedy. Um He was like, I got my running mate. I'm like, why would anybody care? You're not you're not going in. I mean, why why everybody care about your running mate? But anyway. Different <laughs> cases, but and and I know you don't think it is a strong case, but it probably is gonna happen before the election, right? I mean, 
there's a chance this is the most likely case. If something's going to happen before the election, this is the case that it's going to happen on. Right. But, you know, this is by far the weakest case, in my opinion, it out is. of all of the cases. And so it's ironic that this is the one that they're pushing forward and this is the one that's going to be heard. Right. The issue, though, is not delay caused by the defense. And that's one of the things that a lot of people are saying, oh, well, the defense is asking for a continuance. Right. No, it's actually the state that is just now handing over additional evidence. So if they wanted this case to push forward quickly, they could have gotten all that evidence together. Right. I mean, the state can coordinate with the government and get all of this information, have it ready to go forward early on, and then you're not having all of these delays. But they're creating opportunities for the defense to say, we're not ready, right. and that's reasonable. Well, it, and, and as we were talking to a former prosecutor, state prosecutor a little while ago, uh, ultimately the Trump side is going to say, look, there's over 100,000 documents and then uh alvin bragg is going to say there's only like 300 that really are germane to this so let's let's see what happens but ultimately it comes down to the case where it sounds like alvin bragg asked the people who looked into michael cohen uh and they said hey give us all the stuff you got on it and apparently they didn't until the 11th hour uh and, and it sounds like the feds when they were doing the prosecuting of this guy it sounded like they were reluctant to go forward and charge mr trump because in the, that particular hush money case the star witness would be michael cohen who has some credibility problems they say Right. And, and there's two things there. So Michael Cohen is the star witness. Right. That's the evidence that you need more than anything. You need that evidence. And that's what they've been withholding. Plus, even if they're saying there's only 300 relevant documents, that doesn't mean that there's not a document that's relevant to the defense. The right. prosecutors aren't in the defense's head. So if they give thousands of documents, the defense lawyers have a duty to look at all of those documents, not to say, oh, well, government, you think those 300 are the relevant ones. Right. We're just going to trust you on that and we're going to ignore the rest of them. That's ridiculous. They have a job to do. They have to look at every page of that document. Well, it's a busy day in court, a bunch of courtrooms. <laughs> Ashley, thank you very much for joining us from Georgia to explain <laughs> your point of view. Thank you. It's okay. Come out on top. Yeah. He's yeah. going to come out on top. I believe that there's going to be some stuff on the back end he's going to end up having to deal with. But I don't believe that they're going to stop him from the president. But I do believe it's going to be a lot of back end stuff going stuff like Because that's usually how it goes. It's the stuff you still having to deal with during your presidency. Because, well, I think on the president, they can... They can kind of like turn off everything, silence till his term is over, right? Like that, technically when you're serving as a president, they can't keep running through some legal case as you're serving as the active president of the United that, States. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. So all this piling stuff that they're trying to, I, I don't know, but I feel like they they are trying to pile all of this oh, stuff, oh, pile, you know, oh, okay. pile, 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 and stuff on top of each other in order to pile, prevent. Pile, or like stacking up. <laughs> pile, <laughs> pile, oh. pile. Just keep saying it. Pile, pile, pile. pile. <laughs> My southern accent. Okay, anyway, um, I just feel like he just seems very fortified. You know, all the stuff they have been continuously trying to, you know, put put on his plate before. And I just wanted to know what was going on, like where were they, where they were and what the message was because she got to worry about her own stuff. You know, arrogance, you know, at its finest. What does the word of God say about pride? Comes before a man's downfall. Yep. And it, it, I didn't see that right there was nothing but pride. And any human can be removed from a position. Any, any person can be removed from whatever takes, position. And it was so funny Period. about when, when pride is your downfall, it takes me in it to get to the point where God go ahead and removes you from wherever your high horse you're sitting on. But when you remove, it's like a full crumb, full crumb, full kicking you from your, your chair. So I guess we that's not, what, we're not, so, let's be clear. We're not glorifying anybody's downfall at all. We're being, you know, paying attention, being very observant because the way she went about this case in regards to Trump was all the way wrong. Yeah. It, it, it should have been done a different way. Yeah, if, but, if it's even anything worth, worth looking into. But it's moving forward. Um, they're going not get anything done. I, I believe that this thing will get disqualified at the last hour. They're gonna be like, oh, they're gonna cut it out. And they're gonna they're gonna end it. It's gonna be a big it's gonna be a big media jump out to let them know that the case is disqualified. Is in it's ended. You know, I believe within the next several months. But or it might still be going on until after his presidency. And after that, people ain't gonna care no more. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, they can care less about it. Yeah, they can care less out of about sight, it. Out of, out of mind. mind. Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. All right, 2024. Be more. All right. See you.